Okay, I had some requests um, to do a video on how to remove the ear cartilage from a fox, a red fox, a gray fox. I suppose it will work on a coyote too, um, but I, I don't do it on coyotes, but I do do it on foxes. Um, removing the cartilage helps the ear dry quicker, uh, so there's less chance for taint and slippage. Um, and I just want to start by saying I did hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of foxes, you know, back when the fur market was still pretty good, or better than it is now by far. And um, everybody knows that you put a screwdriver in between the base of the skull and the ear, and you pull down. Well, that works to get rid of the cartilage, but you really destroy the ear um, a lot of times, which doesn't matter on the fur market. Um, but people are tanning more and more animals because um, prices are so low. So I want to show you uh, kind of the method I figured out that you get the best looking ear when you pull the cartilage. Okay, once you get down to the neck, just give it a pull over the neck on a red. You cannot do this with a gray fox. A uh, red fox it works really well on. Okay, come closer here. There you can see the two the two ears. I have it about as pulled down as far as you can go. That is what you want. And I just kind of get my thumb. And I have a big screwdriver. Push it through about like that. Now, um, like I said, I've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds like this. And you just yank down real fast. And sometimes you get a good ear. Sometimes you get half an ear. Sometimes you get a quarter of an ear. Um, and some sticks on the... Uh, on the cartilage yet. So what I've found what works about the best for me is if I hold my screwdriver like that and take my two thumbs and flatten the ear out, all of the cartilage stays on the carcass and all of the ear stays on the pelt. I'll try it on this side. Does it work 100% of the time, but it works pretty good. Like I said, use your thumbs and keep it flat. There a tiny bit stayed on the cartilage, but not bad at all. Most of your ear is right there. Like I said, it takes a little bit of practice and it's not 100% perfect, um, but You'll get the hang of it. Like I said, use your two thumbs and try to keep that ear as flat as possible and it'll, it'll come off the nicest for you. All right, till next time. Catch you later.